What's up YouTube, I'm just another guy and welcome back to the Welsh Way here with Aberwith Swift Town. We are now halfway through the season, we are officially halfway there. And we're doing very, very well. Um, there's one bit of transfer news to talk about which won't be coming through until uh, January 1st, so we've got a little bit of way to go yet. But Luke Fleming, a young goalkeeper, is coming in. Uh, whether or not he's first choice, I haven't really decided yet, I'll wait until we get there. Uh, but he may come in and be first choice striker. Worst comes to worst, he'll be a backup keeper for us. But you know, not too bad, not great, and not terrible either in comparison to our others. You know, he, he's not too far behind, which is why I'm saying I'm not too sure. He's 18, he's got a lot of years left of development left. Whether I just want to put him in the first team and allow him to develop. But of course, that will come. Elsewhere though, we're going to jump into the league table and we currently find ourselves sitting fourth. We find ourselves very, very well placed in the table and Definitely overachieving in comparison to the start of the season. So we sit um, 14th, 16 games played, halfway through the season. 8 wins, 4 defeats, 4 um, draws, sorry, I said defeats first anyway. Um, 33 goals scored, so the highest goal scored in the league. And 30 goals conceded, one of the highest in the league as well. Plus 3 goal difference and 28 points. We just beat Athenlido as well, which is a, you know it shows that we were able to compete with the top guys. And overall... We've had a very good second quarter of the season, and overall the first half of the season has been very good as well. Um, top group, uh, top champions, championship group, uh, where the league divides into two, cuts off at sixth, so that means seventh, Carmarthen is our cut-off team, is the, you know, will tell us whether we make it or not. And we currently find ourselves six points clear of them, so, you know, it looks like we're going to be getting into the championship group, but we can't get ahead of ourselves, we'll take it a game at a time, and just hope we can get there. So, yeah, let's go on to the fixtures and have a little look at how they went. So, you saw it's a new town game. We won 5-0, which is a great win, and I really hope to push on from that. But, Airbus gave us a really torrid time. We, we were away from home, but they were bottom of the table, so I went out there control. I thought that was a good way to approach the game. We had the, I thought we had the quality to beat them, but 5-1, it, it just didn't make sense. They managed to just really could dominate us. Really dominate the game. We scored in the 69th minute. Obviously, that was a consolation at that point because by that time in the game, we were already three 0 down. They scored pretty much a minute after as well, so <laughs> it, was, it just got really embarrassing this game. And I don't really know why. I don't think the way we approached it was wrong. You know, I, I think we had a right to go out there control them. Airbus were doing terribly in the league, and they're still not doing too great. And I think they actually sacked their manager as well, if I'm correct in saying that. But overall, should have done a lot better here and. Surprised that we lost 5-1 in the way we didn't. Of course, wanted to really move on quickly from that. Then we faced Preston, And we won 5-4. This was an amazing game, but also a frustrating game. So we took the lead after one minute with Carl Thomas. Then David Hislop got two in pretty quick succession in the 6th minute and 18th minute. Giving us a 3-1 uh, lead after TJ Nyang scored in between them two goals. After that, we scored in the 30, uh, they scored in the 24th minute and the 34th minute to pull it back to 3-3 before the game was even at half time. We then took the lead yet again in the 35th minute with Ryan David, Ryan, Ryan, I think that's, I don't know, whatever, Davis scoring in the 35th minute. So, 4-3 at half time. I didn't know what to expect going into the second half. We managed to play a little bit better. I made two defensive changes. David Gwynedd and Stuart Jones came off. And hoping to see some sort of reaction. In the end, Hislop had to be substituted via an injury. But his replacement, Mark Jones, scored in the 92nd minute of the game to give us the lead after Sean H Hasey had put Preston back um, on level terms in the match. Crazy game, and for this reason, I actually signed Luke Fleming. We conceded way too many goals in two games, five and four, nine goals in two matches. Really led me to question the defence whether I thought it was reliable enough or not. Uh, really, I didn't feel I wanted to strengthen from anywhere in terms of right back, centre backs, or left back. I thought maybe goalkeeper was the only position I really wanted to strengthen on. So that's why I've looked at Mark Fleming and I signed him. Like I say, I, I, things have improved, so whether or not he plays is another question yet to be answered. So after that, we faced Balor, and now Balor are top of the table, and they still currently are. So this was a quite an interesting game to go into. I wasn't really sure what was going to happen. I did approach it counter because I thought we were going to lose control of the game, and actually it wasn't too bad. We pretty evenly fought. We had more of the ball despite playing counter. I do have retained possession instruction on those, so that of course helps to, you know, get the ball, soak up the pressure, get the ball, and maybe counter-attack quickly. If not, we can control, pass the ball around a little bit. Overall, the team played well. You know, 
I thought we thoroughly deserved a draw. End of the day, I think this is a good point to pick up against Balor away from home. After that, we face Airbus. Now, you know, very quick succession after the time they beat us 5-1. So, again, weren't really sure what to expect at home this time. So, I did go out of control yet again. I didn't want to approach it in a counter way because then I was pretty much giving up my home advantage. And we won 1-0. Carl Thomas scored the only goal of the game in the 89th minute. Although, Airbus really hadn't turned up in this match. We should have gone it way more comfortably, but we weren't taking our chances in the end. Carl Thomas scored very, very late on, giving us a 1-0 victory. So, good victory here. Uh, definitely something that should have happened in the first match. Surprising that we lost as badly as we did, really. Then we face Holyhead in the Welsh Cup. We had a rotated team. You know, pretty much, I think the whole Stein 11, exception to keeper, were rotated. 1-2-0, comfortable in the end. Um, on the scoreline, match-wise, Holyhead had their chances, didn't take them, though. So, we managed to progress through to the next round. I am interested in winning the Welsh Cup, but uh, I felt we had a strong enough team to rotate it. Then we face Ryle in the uh, Welsh Premier League again, and won 4 0 this time. Um, Ryle, I think the first time around we beat them, didn't we? No, we lost first game of the season, 3 1, sorry. So, you know, we had a chance to redeem ourselves. The home advantage definitely helped as we smashed them 4 0. Again, they never turned up to the match, never got going, gave us a very easy, comfortable win. This time we managed to take our opportunities a lot better with Callaway, Sinnott, Venables, and Hislop all scoring to make it 4 0. Then Newtown, now Newtown we did beat 5-0 of course on the live com, so I expected another victory even though it was away from home, and we managed to do that, we managed to perform very well. 2-1, really the scoreline looked a lot closer than it was, again Newtown didn't really turn up, we had a lot of the ball, a lot of domination, managed to equalise after we took the lead which was very unfortunate for us, which meant we really had to go out there and play a lot better in the second half. Craig Williams had an amazing game for them and that says something considering his dead defender. You know, obviously that must have helped keep the ball out a couple of times. We must have made a few last gasp tackles and things like that. But overall, we should have been doing a lot better, taking our chances a lot better and won the game more comfortably. But at the end of the day, three points was three points. And then the latest game we played was Athen Lido away from home. In the home game, we drew 2-2. You know, it wasn't too bad. So away from home, I approached it counter. Didn't really want to go out there too optimistic. Had a lot of the ball. Athen Lido had a lot of shots, but zero on target and... If you've got no shots on target, you're pretty much surrendering the game to your other team. You're pretty much saying, you know, we're having a bad day up front. If you can take your chance, we're going to get nowhere near the goal. And that's what happened. Carl Thomas scored in the 80th minute to give us a late winner and helped us beat Athen Lido, which was a great result. And that put us above them in the table and has put us where we are currently in fourth. So the remaining games left, we have, what is it, three, six games remaining in this bit before we split. So the next time I meet you in the league will be the second game in the... Um, it will be a second game, uh, so I do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. It'll actually be the third game in the group, uh, split group. So hopefully we can win that and progress through to the cup as well. So, of course, we have a massive game against TNS, our rivals, away from home. And, um, you know, currently in the, in the league, they're actually our league rivals as well. So we're obviously aiming for a good game. Um, this is going to be the team we're going to go out with. Actually, we're going to swap one player around. Actually, two maybe is Aaron Lemon is injured. Now, we're going to keep it like this, okay? So, the team's going to be Mike Lewis in goal, Hoy right back, Jones centre back, Sinnott centre back, Gwynedd left back, Callaway right mid, and Albrowski, deep line playmaker defend, Venables, box to box midfielder, and Davis on the left, Hislop and Thomas up front. So, you know, pretty much the way we've been approaching most games, Davis has really, you know, cemented himself in the team, 18 years of age. Um, surprise really when I signed him I didn't ex well not even when I signed him when I saw him in the team didn't expect him to play much but I have actually found him to be a lot better than the other left mid uh, I'm going to say this calmly because I don't want to make the boys nervous and we're going to say no one expects us to win go out there relax pretty much you know go out there play a natural game and at the end of the day no one should really be disappointed so massive massive game Obviously, one we're going to want to win, if you look at the league table, if we can win this game, we would go up to 31 points. And if they were to lose this game, they would stay at 32 points, which, of course, would mean we're only a point behind second place. And if Port Talbot and Bala lose, it would just help us gain on the title ground, which is a real possibility at the time. But here you go, TNS are on the attack, so if we can keep this out... Oh, Drapper misses the effort. I um, managed to keep it nil-nil for a little bit longer. Ha basically, if we can stop them scoring, it's going to keep us in a great chance of winning the game. Here's Davis with a set piece. Good delivery. Sinnott is there, but sadly it's blocked away. Hoy, I don't know who that is. Hislop was under there, marked by Dave, uh, Evan, sorry, and it was cleared away in the end. 
<coughs> Here we go, Stokes for TNS. Now this looks like they're going to be a great opportunity for them. They're outnumbering us. Good block there and good clearance gets it away, but they're going to still have another chance here. As Drapper is there, it's been blocked and he's got the rebound and managed to score. Davis feels the goal was offside. We'll have a look at that when the replay comes around, but really unlucky. Defender did the right thing by blocking it, but in the end it made it that little bit easier for Drapper just to find the back of the net. Uh, is this offside? I, I don't know what. Maybe he was thinking Sterling was offside, but the Drapper himself was definitely onside. And in the end of the day, um, TNS have taken the lead. But we've got a chance here if Hislop is through on goal. Oh, good save from Harrison Hislop. Uh, very surprising striker as well. Signed him this season. He's played very well. Jones is in there. A lot of stuff going around the box. And Venables is there. Nope. And yeah, so Hislop... Didn't really expect to play him, but I have. He's played as a target man, um, and his finishing isn't very good. I think he's got good composure, but his finishing is like four. But he managed to be our top goal scorer this season, and one of the highest top goal scorers in the league. So, I mean, stats aren't everything in this game. If you've got a player playing well, consider, continue to play him, no matter what the stat says, because clearly he's on form as, I don't know what the keeper is doing there. Trapper has just easily rounded the keeper. I don't know why he's decided to come out when there's at least two defenders around him. That was really, really poor decision from the keeper there. He shouldn't have come out. There was defenders covering, and in the end of the day, he's just left an open goal there for Drapper to easily slot that into. Two chances on target, two clear cut opportunities, two goals for TNS. Poor defensive display by us. Uh, especially in recent weeks when we've kept quite a few clean sheets. I'd expect it a lot better. We are missing our first choice left back, but I still don't think that influences too much. As Thomas is through on goal. Straight to keeper Callaway there. With another effort, but over the bar. Shame we couldn't get that one on target. This is, you know, I expected this coming into the game. Now, don't get me wrong. A professional team versus a semi-pro team. We'd expect a professional team every day of the week. But just because they train every day, fitness level is going to be higher and stuff. I did expect the game to, you know, TNS to take control in the latter stages of the halves when fitness would become an uh, issue, but for us to be, you know, so easily to penetrate through the middle and things like that, it's just wrong. It's just really, really, really too easy. As Drapper is through again, and this time Lewis with the mistake, straight at him. Should have done a lot better with the shot, but in the end, parries it into the back of his net. 16 goals for Drapper this season. That just shows the magnitude of the player, magnitude of the player there. I don't know what Lewis is doing again. Looks like he's trying to run out at the same time, trying to save. Thomas throwing away a set piece there. Should be doing a lot better as well. We've had a clear opportunity. I don't know whether that was Hislop's or Thomas's one, but really we've had two good chances. One on one with the keeper and should have been doing a lot better with both of them. And we could really be in a different position in this game. Callaway's through. Oh, very, very poor shot. I don't know what. He's done there where he's hit it with his left, which is his weaker one. But that, he should be doing a lot better with that opportunity. As TNS are yet again with the opportunity. Stokes is over the bar. I'm going to take this stuff off very, very quickly. Um, just because he's blocking the screen whilst trying to read. I was trying to see what's going on. It's blubbering all over the <laughs> uh, TNS's goal. And Drapper is through yet again. They're going to make his fourth, maybe. Good save by Lewis, but. For what? I doubt we're going to get free here. It's just trying to make it a little bit more civilized of a scoreline in the end of the day. Oh, this, this is disappointing. What does, what does this actually do to the league table? It gives us in fourth, but it gives TNS a chance to catch Bala and um, means we lose ground on both first and second. Callaway down the right. He seems to be doing all right today, Callaway. Venables is there, plays it back to Gwynedd. Does it to Davis. Davis whips this one in. Thomas with a goal. And it's not offside, which is very, very nice to see. The two young left-sided players linking up there. And then a great delivery yet again from Davis. He's done that a lot this season. Finds Carl Thomas in the box with his seventh goal of the season. Good finish there. Uh, with a little bit of pressure coming in from the um, covering defender. And 3-1. That doesn't look as bad as 3-0. And we have a chance, I think. We have a we have a chance at least. Of maybe getting two. Um... We owe TNS after what happened to in our last match. Go out there and get revenge. I've not seen that option before. I thought I'd give that a go. Not bad. With a couple of people motivated. A couple of people listen keenly. Deep in four. Listen passionately. Hislop. Not been doing too great. I actually want to speak to Gwynedd. Um, you know, I appreciate your effort. Been unlucky so far. 
try getting a reaction out of him, considering he's our worst rated player. Um, you know, if we can pick his performance up, we might help defensively. Because really, it, it seems like they're all coming from the centre, but, you know, he may contribute. He may not be um, pulling in enough to help his centre-backs out. Venables with the chance there, just over the bar. Managing to get a little bit more of the board in TNS, which is surprising. Um, and again, the professional thing comes into it. I thought they'd have a lot more, you know, they close us down a lot more. Um, you know, have, have that fitness level just to really outpass us and, you know, have the quality level to outpass us. As Drapper's in here, very, very good save by Lewis. Very good indeed. That first, his mistake on the third goal, he looks like he's trying to make it up, but I'd rather him <laughs> save the, the shot that caused the third goal. Um, so we're going to make a change. We're going to actually bring Barry Morgan on. The guy we replaced initially. Uh, Barry Morgan did have an injury. Nabrowski played very well in the time when he replaced him. Morgan's come in, not done too bad. A couple of good games, a couple of bad games. But I felt Nabrowski was a little bit better and well equipped to play in this game, which is a bit more defensively minded. There we go, the sub is being made. I'm thinking of taking Hislop off. Um, yeah, why not? We'll take Hislop off. We'll bring on Mark Jones, a bit more of an experienced player. And um, apart from that, I'm happy with that to go out there and you know see what happens. I guess um, to feed the end of the day is what we what was expected of the match. It's not like we were expected to win, and we're disappointingly losing. We knew it was going to be a tough game. But here we have a chance, maybe try and make this 3-2. Morgan plays it out wide to Callaway. Callaway beats his defender brilliantly. Shame his shot was straight at Harrison and didn't trouble him too much. Davis puts this one in. Comes off with, I think that's Jones, is that six? Um, I can't actually see. Uh, sorry, it's Sinnott. And goes out for a goal kick. Good, good little bit of play there from Callaway. Oh, Jones has picked up an injury. Ian Humphreys will come on. It's not ideal, didn't really want an injury to Mark Jones. He is our third choice striker. You know, he comes on off the bench a lot. And he scored in the um in a couple of games in the recent weeks and things. So it's not great to see. TNS is still attacking here. Drapper with a yell again, another chance, another good save by Lewis. Drapper seems to have wasted quite a few opportunities for TNS just to make that lead a lot more comfortable. But I think this game is over. We have six minutes. You know what? Once this highlight has been and gone. We're going to go attacking. You know, we have... I probably should have done this a little bit earlier. But we have uh, six minutes to get two goals. There is a possibility. There also is the possibility that we get humiliated like in the past. And we lose uh, like 5-0, 5-1, things like that. But what's the... At that point, you know, what is the point? You know, we've already got nothing coming out of the game. Might as well throw everything at the other team. And try and at least get the two goals back. As Callaway whips this one in. Humphreys is there. Harrison with a good save though. Humphreys did pretty much everything right. Maybe a little bit more power on the header and he would have found the back of the net. Here we go. Three minutes remaining now. This game is probably over. Currently our left back is off the field of play as well. Which gives TNS that man advantage. Which maybe they'll use. Nope. Humphreys is in there to Thomas. Thomas trying to create one more chance. Forces a save from Harrison. And it goes out for a corner. Davis tries finding a white shirt. Can't. Thomas is there, got over the bar, and there we go. So surely be it, probably the referee will blow it. Nope. Oh, what was with that goal kick? <laughs> Did he think the game was over as well? I just didn't punt it straight out, what was up with that? Maybe another, another. I think, pointless highlight right here. I don't think we're going to create anything else. Maybe they'll get a fourth, nope. There you go, the ball goes out of play, and now it'll probably be over. There we go, it was all over. TNS won the game. Uh, match stats wise I don't think they deserved it a couple of defensive mistakes and I think a poor defensive, de de defensive display overall from our team um, you know obviously doesn't help good team talk though I think that will keep morale up hopefully uh, it says we played well defensively maybe just Dave Gwynedd made a couple of mistakes and cost us a goal or two keeper I definitely would fault for the third one but overall you know if we'd have taken a few more chances maybe we'd be 3-3 free -free. But that's asking a lot. It was the first time we've actually lost in six games. So it ends a run. Hopefully we can create another one though. So we have Port Talbot, Carmarthen twice, Connors Quarry and Bangor City. So the Carmarthen games are going to be the massive games considering they're currently 7th. And Bangor City as well will be a massive game. Um, Port Talbot next. Uh, they're above us in the table. So again, this is like the TNS match. It's going to be a big match. Where are we playing? Was it home or away? I don't actually remember. We're at home. 
So we're going to go out there to try and control this match. Hopefully come away with all three points. And yeah, this has been it. Um, look at some awards. I know we've come second in manager of the month last month. And the month before that as well. We had a very two, two very good months. Actually 75% and a 80% win record matching TNS's manager. Player of the month. Uh, we haven't picked an, up any for that. Uh, nope, I haven't got near it. And young player of the year. That is a yearly award. Don't need to go there. And team of the month, we got one person in team of the month last month. Jeff Callaway. We had a couple of people in the month before, but sadly you can't see that. So I probably should make a note of that somewhere, like who got in team of the month before, so we can I can tell you about that. Financially, I want to show you we're struggling. We are expected to go. We're losing money every month. We're leaking about 15k a month, which isn't great. Depending on home and away, it's about 15 to 18k a month. Um, so we're expected to only have 100k by the end of the year, which isn't good because um. The board have come out and said they will build me, uh, if I go to where is overview, have, will build me a U facilities, but I think they said it would cost something around 120, 140, something like that, maybe 170k to build. And of course, I doubt they're going to build it if we don't have, you know, the, the, the required money, which we don't currently. So, um, I either have to try and find a way to stop us leaking money like we are, but like, part, I, I can't really do anything with the wage bill. I mean, the wage bill is pretty low in comparison to what they've given me. Um, it's not like we're spending a load either. We're only spending about a K a month. Like, even if I got rid of everyone on the wages, we're still leaking out a lot of money per month. So, wait, that's a weekly wage, isn't it? What am I about? That's like 4K though. We're around it. We'll say that's about, um, that's 8K. Because about 2K there. 8K a month is still leaking more than, more than we're bringing in, so I think that's just a natural thing in the Welsh League. You know, money is pretty rare to come by in a club, unless you're getting Champions League football like TNS, because where did they get knocked out of? They got knocked out of the second qualifying round, and teams who get knocked out of this round pick up, um, well, this is all groups. I want to go to the second round there, pick up 236k just for losing, and plus you get money for just being in the, um, for being a winner of the league and being in the Champions League as well, being knocked out. So, <laughs> clearly, uh, financially, we're, we're not as strong as others. So, uh, this is going to be it for now, guys. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed the episode. Uh, until next time, peace out.